Hi there. Good morning. Welcome, everybody. I'm Michelle Duval of the Mindful Center. Today, in just about two minutes, we'll get started. We're going to do two 20 minute guided meditations with a five minute break in between. So, these Saturday meditation sessions, that's the framework. We'll do one guided 20 minute meditation, we'll take a five minute break. And then we'll enter into a second 20-minute meditation. And that'll be our time together. So for a total of 45 minutes to the session. Today's practices are all focused around practices that can help us kind of bring our temperatures down. There's a lot. I feel like I've said this so many times, but once again, there's a lot happening in our world, in our communities, in our society, around the world that is affecting our communities and societies, how we feel, how safe we feel. Tempers are flaring, hot spots are flaring up all around the world. Maybe even in your neighborhood, you've noticed people's tempers high or they're on edge, whatever it is. So these are going to be the practices that are going to help us to cool ourselves down so that the hope can be that when we come out into the world and we encounter those hot spots, we don't add to it. We don't add to the flare-ups, right? We can be that source of calm, cool, collected, focus on peace, keep focusing on peace and love and peace and love and peace and love um, throughout it all. That's the only way, I believe. So we'll get started in here in just about less than a minute practices focusing on cooling down, cooling out, right? Bringing our temperatures down. Okay. So glad you joined us. So it looks like we are ready to begin. Welcome to everybody. The framework again for today is two 20 minute guided meditations with a five minute break in between. Okay. So for 45 minutes total, I'll keep my eye on the time. So let's get ready to meditate. Let's get ready to start our first practice. So I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to take one, two, maybe even three nice, deep, long, slow breaths. Really filling your lungs, the top of the lungs, the bottom of the lungs. And then really on those deeper out breaths, really pushing, actively pushing out all the air in the lungs so as to have more space to fill with that next new deep in breath. And then whenever it feels good to you, just starting to let your breath return to natural. And so we've got our eyes closed now. We're just sitting here breathing naturally. And I want you to begin to do just a simple little scan of your body. And just kind of generally noticing how the body feels. And as you do this, it's probably pretty easy to find some areas of the body that feel tense. Little areas of the body that might feel painful even. So for me, it's in my neck and one of my shoulders. There's like a a hot spot in there. So just kind of noticing in your own body where some of your hot spots might be hot spots of tension or 
holding or tightness. Hot spots of discomfort or even pain. And once you've identified some of those places in the body, I want you to begin to move and stretch a little bit. And just seeing if you can bring some level of release to some of your spots. So for me and my shoulder, if I really get into full expression of range of motion, it feels kind of relieving. So what is it for you? How might you relieve or release some of your hot spots, some of the tension in your body with just a little bit of gentle movement, a little bit of slow stretch? Just really seeing if you can pay close attention to how it feels to at least try to relieve some of these hot spots in the body. It's like it might not take all your pain and discomfort away, but at least we can try, right? At least we can try. Just about one more minute of movement and stretch. And then just kind of beginning to settle the body, finding your posture, how you wish to be sitting. And seeing if you can sit in a way that doesn't exacerbate any of your hot spots, right? So can you sit in a way that kind of supports their release or at least the showing of your care for these areas of tension in the body. And then again, taking one or two nice, deep, long, slow breaths. And then just letting your breath return to natural. And just sitting here breathing for a few moments. And as we sit here and breathe, you might still notice that you still do have some of those hot spots in the body, some pockets of tension or discomfort.
And so now what I want you to do is I want you to see if you can kind of like see those hot spot hot spots in your mind's eye. It's almost like looking at a heat map of the body and there are cool spots, places in the body where you don't feel much stress or tension. And then there are other spots in the body that feel hot, they hurt or they're tense. So just kind of seeing this kind of like a heat map of your body with these hot spots identified. Just kind of seeing that for a few moments in your mind's eye. And so that's with the physical body, right? How does your mind feel? It's not a question we ask ourselves commonly, but just seeing if you can kind of check in with yourself and Notice, how does my mind feel right now? And for most of us, you might Notice that there are spaces in the mind that might feel pretty calm and peaceful. But then certain thoughts arise and you might start noticing anger in the mind or fear. Maybe some judgment. So you can also imagine this kind of heat map of the mind, right? And there are places in the mind that are cool, that are neutral, or that are very loving and kind and for most of us there are also aspects of the mind that feel problematic, angers and judgments, excessive busyness. So you can imagine that Our heat map of the mind is kind of like a mixed bag, right? Some hot spots along with some cooler areas. And now I want us to gather our awareness into our heart into the chest where we typically feel things. And I want you to do the same thing, just kind of noticing the range of emotions that might be present. Maybe you feel happy to be here, but at the same time, there's worry or anger or 
fear in your heart as well. Just kind of again imagining this heat map of the heart. Places of coolness and peace and love and other spots that might be problematic, harder feelings. And now what I want you to do is I want you to imagine or visualize a nice, cool, beautiful blue light just above your head. So blue is the color of peace and healing usually. So just kind of imagining this soft, lovely, barely tinted light blue light above your head. And now we're just going to imagine that this cool blue light enters our bodies from the crown of our heads. And it just starts slowly, slowly traveling down. And every aspect that this light touches, it brings cooling and healing to. Just imagining this light now traveling down through our heads, cooling our brains. Cooling any tensions or hot spots in the face. Imagining this cool light entering our minds and just softening and cooling and healing our minds. And this healing soft blue light continues through the body starting to spread and radiate through the shoulders and neck. Down into our backs and chest. And this cool blue light is just soothing all our little hot spots. Soothing our angers, our fears, our tensions. You can imagine this light entering your heart space and softening your worries, cooling your fears. This light continues down through the belly and back, torso. Almost like, you know, like cooling waters, right? This cooling soft light just bringing our temperature back to peaceful. So this soft blue light enters our bellies and our bowels.
healing and cooling every space it touches. Continuing down through our legs, healing our hips and our tendons, our knees. Soothing our aches and pains and fatigues and just continuing to travel down through the legs. all the way down and into your feet. And now as we sit here, we can imagine that our heat map has cooled down considerably. Nothing's frozen, but just The overall temperature has soothed and cooled. Really seeing this in your mind's eye and feeling this in your body, in your heart, and in your mind. just for this last minute or so, just kind of enjoying this cooler temperature of body, heart, and mind. Just relaxing into the soothing sense of having appropriately turned down the temperature. Breathing in nice, cooling breaths. the meditation comes to an end, you might want to move a little bit, but nothing too drastic, nothing too movie, right? We just want to kind of keep this cooler temperature if we can, just some movements to relieve any tightness in the body. And as the meditation ends, just opening your eyes when you're ready. So now begins our five minute break, right? So what I want to encourage you to do is just stay cool, stay cool. If you need to go out of your room and engage with others, just keep it real mellow, real cool. You're the cool dude for the moment. I'll keep my eye on the clock and be sure to start things up again in now less than five minutes, right? Keeping yourself real cool, maybe even moving more slowly than you would naturally, just kind of slowing things down, not building any heat or rushedness, slow leisurely, sipping your drink or whatever it is.
spending these minutes just kind of relaxing your focus and just st still keeping yourself in this mellow state, right? Just about three more minutes. Just about two more minutes, okay? Two more minutes of our five minute break and then I'll guide you through a second 20 minute meditation. Just about one more minute, okay, just one more minute and we'll get started again. So because I'm going to start the meditation in one more minute, maybe if you've gotten up now coming back to your chairs or cushions, a little bit of stretch if that feels good. Just about 30 more seconds and I'll begin the second meditation. I wasn't kidding. I watched the time. I, I think that's helpful just to, as best we can. I know sometimes I go a couple minutes over, but I try my best. Okay, now is the time. We can again claim our seats for this second meditation. So we'll do this meditation in a comfortable sitting upright position. So just kind of establishing how you're sitting now. Maybe as you explore your sitting posture, you notice areas of tightness or tension that you might want to rub out or move or stretch. So just doing that now. And then whenever you're ready, just starting to leave the body alone. We're always poking it and scratching it and adjusting and judging. So just kind of letting the body be the body. If any parts of it need your attention, you just give it over to it. Just kind of letting the body 
settle and rest and just be as it's going to be. Now I want you to begin to turn your attention inwards and just seeing if you can feel any sensations of coolness in the chest, on the in-breath. So that's the sensation I want you to pay attention to if you can. So if it's hard to feel the coolness of the in-breath in the chest, you can kind of start at the nose, see if you can notice coolness there each time you breathe in. Seeing if you can feel some of that coolness maybe in the throat also as you breathe in. Just seeing if you can notice any sensations at all of coolness of breath in the chest. The body heats up the breath, but there can still be some detection of coolness in the lungs as we breathe in. Can you feel that? So imagining that we're just kind of breathing in this coolness. And this coolness is soothing and calming our heart. So just imagine this happening now with each and every in-breath. You breathe in coolness and it soothes and comforts and maybe even begins to heal any pain in your heart. When the heart is soothed, that's when it heals and it can heal itself remarkably well. So we're just kind of imagining that We're breathing in this cooling, soothing breath. And it's relaxing your heart, letting it rest. Soothing its worries. And then from within this space, your heart can begin to heal. Let your heart begin to heal within this space of cooling breath. We think that healing 
the heart is complicated when actually it's a natural process of the heart to heal to heal itself, to help heal others. It's one of the primary functions of the heart, of the spirit. Imagining that your heart is beginning to heal within this space of calm, cool breath. It's just what's happening. And when the heart begins to heal, the first thing it wants to do is it wants to love again. So if your heart is beginning to heal in this moment, can you imagine and maybe even feel that your heart is yet again ready to love. And we can imagine that our loving hearts are beginning to warm again. And you can begin to see this a little bit in your mind's eye that there's this cool, mellow warmth. beginning to arise again in your heart. So it's not fiery hot love, it's not righteous love, it's just this sense of doing that which we were made to do, which was heal and share love with both ourselves and others. Can you feel that now happening in your heart, this Readiness to love this spreading warmth. So now each and every breath kind of stokes this loving warmth of heart. Bringing in the oxygen it needs to heal and love again. And we can begin to imagine that this mellow, loving warmth 
begins to spread all throughout our body. And everything this warmth touches feels the love. So first, sharing this mellow love with our own bodies. Filling, filling every nook and cranny of the body with this mellow love. Now you can also imagine that this love fills our mind. So it brings with it a single pointed focus, a single pointed focus, we were born to love, we are filled with this warm, mellow love in our hearts, in our bodies, in our minds. And now because this love is uncontainable, it easily begins to expand outwards from your heart, body, and mind. This warm, mellow love spreads and fills the space around us. It goes beyond the space around us. and easily finds every living being in need of warm, soothing love in this moment. Imagine your love easily finding any and every living being in need of this kind of love, warm and soothing. This kind of love is not fiery, it does not burn anyone. It simply spreads and expands and soothes and loves every living being who needs it. This is your true purpose, your true nature.
to love freely and openly. Bringing healing and peace wherever you go, wherever you are. Your love finding the scared children of the world. Those hurt and in fear. All the innocent beings who simply wish to live their lives just as we do. Your warm, soothing love finds them easily now. and enters their heart and on some level, on some level they can know they are loved. Filling the world with this cooling and calming love. Without exception, every nook and cranny. Feeling your warm, soothing love. Us doing this now is not nothing. It is not nothing. I'll conclude the formal guidance for this practice now. You can continue on for as long or as short as you wish. And perhaps throughout the rest of the day and the night, you can keep yourself in this warm, mellow, loving space. Bringing no harm, bringing no more fire, bringing only this cooling, mellow love. Thank you all for being here, and I'll I'll see you next time. May. May all beings feel love.